only moments ago, I had opted and decided that I was going to learn more about Thelema. Thelema itself is like a spirituality. It's a belief system. But many of us associate it directly with Aleister Crowley. And I never really cared much for Crowley. But I got into a documentary. Statements about his life, who he was, what he did, and what he valued. And then I saw the metaphysical ideas in Thelema. I read through all the ritual work. And I could only tell myself <laughs> that I was impressed. I was strikingly impressed by a desire to share everything worth sharing in mysticism. I saw a man who tried very, very hard. I saw a looking, a seeking for a group of people who could congeal and connect on familiar ideas. And ultimately, all the things that I thought were fallacious or falsified or ridiculous in the spheres of Thelema were brought low. They were thrown aside. The heresies became truths. Not that he convinced me, but he went for truth after the heresy. And I could no longer ignore that Aleister Crowley loved mysticism. He loved occultism, and he wanted to give it to everyone. See, there were many, many people in the antiquated spheres that wanted to have occultism, but they always, always wanted to keep it away from the majority. And he, and all his actions and all his doings, wanted to give it to everyone. The more I continue to study the Thelemic Mysteries, the more I realize just how adept some other people can be. I do not just see ritual rites anymore. I do not just see stolen information. I witness passion. I see a desire to share. I see a willingness to risk one's own authenticity for the sake of others. Crowley was not a bad man. He may have done some strange things at points in his life, but he did not act in an occult way for the sake of himself. He's not as selfish as we tell ourselves that he is. He's not as broken as we might assume. He acted in such a way that we might have anything to work with. And to me, the Lima represents less of its own system and more of an open system. It represents giving someone the information that they need from the esoteric bodies that they otherwise might not ever be able to join and making it bare to them. Bare, let's say, being clad, sky clad, being open, being available in terms of presentation is a very scary thing for many of us. But the thing is, in Thelema, it is not so simple. It is not so basic. It is not so physical. It is symbolic. It is simply opening oneself up to the risk and dangers of the world. That is a very scary thing for many of us. It is very intimidating to be open, to be bare, to be available. It is not our duty to do that for others, but Crowley, in all of his experiences, in everything that he saw academically, made the decision to be one such individual. And for that, many people love him. Many people see that willingness, that direction, that fear, that incoherent absurdity, and give willingly to that cause because they wish they could be him. In fact, the more I think about it, the more impressed I become. Crowley's metaphysics were not just a compilation of a variety of social bodies and mystical scenarios, but he actually gave them consideration. He linked them together. He had a sense of urgency. And when it comes to metaphysics, I am very, very specific in particular, which I see that he too attempted to do the best that he could to fuse these things. Lieber 77 is no poor example of a man who desires to connect things together not for himself, for others. And that is one reason why I genuinely appreciate him. I appreciate his efforts. I appreciate what he wanted to do. 
And I appreciate how far he came because he did not do a bad job and he is not worth hating. When it comes to esoterica, we need to be open to people like this. We need to be accepting of people who are willing to turn things on its head because they are the future. 93.